Hey, how are you? This is Dave Gerritsen with Blaschikoff USA. And here in my hands, I have our new 104 SBR. Chambered in 762 by 39. This is built off the original Russian design. Folding stock, correct, ready to go. We're also gonna be shipping this in 2022 uh, in a pistol variant for those who wanna form one this uh, and make it their own. So uh, this is gonna be available and shipping in quantity in February. Next on the line, we have a very interesting firearm offering that we're gonna be bringing to market in 2022. This is the Chaos. And this is a 12 gauge, 12 and a half inch firearm by classification. So there's no need for an SOT or any paperwork. You can pick this directly up uh, at any FFL as long as you fill out your 4473 and are eligible to purchase. Shipped with two five round magazines. And if you'll notice, we have something that you've never seen on any of our shotguns to date. This little ramp actually eliminates a problem that some folks were having with our legacy shotguns. Previously, if you wanted to load a full magazine, you had to lock your carrier group to the rear in order to load. With this ramp, what it's going to allow you to do is an assisted magazine load. So no longer will you have to hold your bolt carrier to the rear to load a fresh magazine in any of our shotguns or eventually other AK style shotguns as we will be selling this as an upgradable part for your use. Additionally, as we've taken time over the last year to understand what the market wants and what our production capabilities are, we started bringing out new caliber offerings. I have in my hands here are KR-101. This is the rifle model and variant of our 5.56 offering. Currently in testing and development, but something we absolutely want to be bringing to the market near the end of 2022. We are uh, developing also in tandem our 74M chambered in 5.45. Both of these platforms are currently in testing. As with anything Kalashnikov USA, we don't beta test with our consumers. We provide that information direct and make sure that before we put a K on any receiver, it's ready to go. So we could release a bit early, but we're gonna hold it back and make sure that the testing is uh, rock solid so that when you get your KUSA product, you don't have to worry about a thing.